everyone i hope you guys are doing amazing and i hope you can ignore my bangs rebelling against me because it doesn't want to stay down so that's just what we're gonna have to deal with today this video has sort of been a video I wouldn't say that I've technically done just because I've done it on my iPad and I don't think it really counts. I mean, it does count, but it's not as great as the actual thing. And then for the last few days, I've been dedicating my time into bullet journaling, doing it the classic paper pen style. I went out and bought a journal, which was 14 bucks on sale, which isn't bad because these usually go for like 20, if you know what I'm saying. I don't know where I want it to be yet because so far I've just been using my G2 Pilot Pen and a calligraphy pen that I bought at a craft store. And the reason why I went with the calligraphy pen is just because I don't I don't do calligraphy by the way, but I do like how the brush and everything moves along with you know the way you move um, rather than a stiff marker. Sometimes like you kind of want to get into those little corners. These kind of help a little bit better. So this was like three bucks at Artists and Craftsmen. For once, I actually used my highlighter to uh, mark down the days of the week. They're really inexpensive. They're roughly like a dollar each, but the colors aren't as bright, more relaxed to me in comparison to like the Sharpie ones, which is like neon pink, neon yellow or whatever. So this is still in the process just because I've literally only been doing it in between class time or during class when I should be listening. So it hasn't really had its final touches for certain pages. So this is the cover page where you'd usually put in your contact information just in case you lose it. Afterwards, you have the basic content it's already pre-made for you, which is super nice. But after the contents, you dive right into the yearly overview. This was really tedious. I cannot lie to you guys, just writing the same numbers once through 31 usually over and over again it was ridiculous and because it's october i still have a little bit left of 2018 uh, but i started 2019 as well and the next page is my yearly goals this i found online as inspiration and i tried to freehand it last night before i could like went to bed and it's kind of messy but it's okay so this is movie night. I think I might just put like movie suggestions or movies I should watch here. Highlight it or cross it off once I'm done. Draw little books and whatnot kind of on the shelf. So in this little cover, I added one through eight, which is like kind of books I should read. And then if I did read it, it'll be in here. Next page is kind of boring, but I love it. Um, it's my YouTube idea page basically the title of the videos or whatever i was going to do is going to be here and whatnot i would put in this little table here now we're moving into the month of october i wanted to do something where i incorporated halloween into it without making it too spooky ended up getting my bath and body works candle lid and boom and then i did this spread during class today because we weren't really doing anything major um this is the monthly overview i think it flows well and the bottom here is important dates anything that's like i don't know important so the next two pages are goals and expenses um this is the monthly goals i did another little collage of shapes and then this was right before i left class today and so there's only three days left in the week and i just decided to do three little ghosts the week's almost done so i don't know if i should put any more effort into it and that is it for my bullet journal so far and what i've done in like two days and i'm going to take you guys along with me for a little bit just so you can see how i'm going to do the month of october i don't know if i'm going to finish it usually i do things along the way when it comes to these things so let's get right into it <laughs> 